In this lesson, we're going to take a little closer look at the Sony Acid Pro menu. Let's go up to the top of the screen and check it out. File, Edit, View, Insert, Tools, Options, and Help. Those are all fairly standard sounding names for menus. Nothing really too intimidating there. Let's look at the Edit menu. You can see gray menu choices are unavailable. I cannot cut anything, but I can select all. It's black, which means I can use it. So I'm just going to click on that, and everything is selected. Cool. Let's look at that again. You'll notice there's a keyboard shortcut next to most menus. Control A is the keyboard shortcut for select all. Let's try that. I'm going to press Control and hold that down and now A. I've just selected all of my tracks in the timeline. There's another method of choosing menus which involves keyboard accelerators. If you hold down your Alt key, and just press it, you don't actually have to hold it down, that activates the menus. And you can see File is currently depressed but each menu now has a line under it. That's a keyboard accelerator. So I'm going to press my Alt again, and now E for Edit. And now I can either use my arrow keys to scroll up or down, or if you see under Select All, one of the L's is underlined. So I'm going to press L to activate Select All. That selected everything on the screen, just like it was supposed to. So really, there are three ways of using menus. You can use your mouse, if that's what you like. You can use a keyboard shortcut, which is many times a convenient way of activating a menu. Or you can use a keyboard accelerator. Not every menu item has a keyboard shortcut, but everything does have an accelerator. OK, you'll notice each menu system is organized into functional logical categories and they've got separator bars here which helps you to kind of navigate the system. New and open are separate from save and export. Then you've got rendering, extracting, publishing, and properties. You can also exit the program here. File is where you will work with your projects, opening, creating them, saving them, rendering them, and publishing them. You can also access project properties here and look at your audio properties. File operations. It's really a way to dig down and open up more dialog boxes in many cases to get to more information. Edit is where you will edit things in the timeline. For example, selecting all it selects actually all your tracks and all your track events. You can also do things like cut from selecting this fuzz guitar. I'm going to go edit, cut. Let's scroll down and then paste it a little further down the timeline. There. That's an editing function. You can also repeat, insert. You can split an event. For example, I'm going to select this event and put my cursor right in the middle of it. Now I'm going to choose Edit Split, which splits this into two events that I can drag separately. A couple other Edit menu choices down at the bottom. You can choose Editing Tools. Right now I'm in Draw Mode. I can also change that to Select Mode, which then allows me to drag and select various events in the timeline. And activate MIDI processes and filters, and undo, and clear the history. Okay, view now. You'll notice a check mark in a box beside some of these menu items. That means we can currently see them. The media manager is currently visible. There it is down here. Ones without those are currently off. Let's show the video preview. There it is. View changes the views of the program. You can open up these different windows. You can also show different kind of tracks and envelopes 
in the timeline or in the track view. You can also modify how the time ruler is displayed and how much zoom you're doing. All right, insert, where we insert things like markers, regions, commands, track markers, different tracks, and so forth. Tools, where we render to a new track, we burn CDs, and reset our MIDI ports, so forth. Options, where we change the program options. Snapping, grid spacing, crossfading, playback, inline MIDI editing, and so forth. You can also change your toolbar, your keyboard, and your preferences down here. And finally, help is where you can activate the program's help. Go online and visit acidplanet.com or visit Sony on the web. Now, a lot of times, these menu items are duplicates of other choices in the program, like the toolbar buttons or right-clicking or certain commands. It just depends on the preference you like and how you want to use the program. All right, I think we can wrap this lesson up. You should now be able to use the Sony Acid Pro menus.